the ground. Get up, boy. I think he's knocked out, sir. I can hear you. Sorry! Still too loud. My head hurts. I'm not surprised. You were hit by a cricket ball. <coughs> now, I am a doctor. I guess that. Do you, Dr Luppers? <laughs> I qualified as a doctor just three weeks ago. We're all going to die. Uh, thank you, Porter. Huh? Mm. <coughs> so, I have a questionnaire. Name? Um, well, Tom. <laughs> Tom, super. Right, um, who brought you here today? Um... Parents? No. I live abroad. Friend? Don't really have any. Right, I'll just put other... Kevin Larson! Get up, boy! It was only a ding, you couldn't run it off. Sorry, headmaster. Right, uh, that ball must have been going extremely fast. It was actually one of my slower ones. Oh, right, would you mind awfully just waiting in reception? Yes, I would mind awfully. You might want to peruse one of our posters on fungoids. Do you want a detention as well? Oh, no, more emergencies. News agent has stapled his fingers to a mint arrow. We'll have to finish this later. Porter! You got a dream? Something you wish you could do before you die? I haven't really thought about it. <sighs> Maybe you should. <clears throat> Children's ward. <clears throat> Good luck. I'm Tom. We'll call you new boy. I'm Amber. I'm in charge. Is that clear? Good. Robin, from the sound of your voice, I'd say you're seven foot tall with an afro. Not exactly. We both know I'm right. I'm George, and I'm the smart, and the handsome, and the clever one. Who's that? That's Sally, but you're not to disturb her. She looks really ill. Maybe you should mind your own business. Aren't there any toys or games? No, Matron doesn't believe in them. This is worse than school. What a dump. Look at the state of this place. It's absolutely filthy. I mean, whoever's in charge must really hate children. Hate is a strong word. I prefer to say detest. Children are just grown up, so too lazy to grow up. I mean, look at you all, just lying there. Oh, I'm ill. Oh, boo-hoo. You must be Tom. Yes, Matron. The world's worst cricketer. <laughs> so, where are your mummy and daddy? Uh, th they work in the Middle East. Oh, they must have wanted to get a long way away from you. George's parents are away as well, aren't they, George? Please don't. They're in prison. The theft. 
So if anything goes missing on the ward, we'll know who to blame, won't we, George? That ain't not fair. That's a double negative, George. Like your mum and dad. Now, rules to my ward. No running, no laughing. Boys and girls visit the toilet on alternate days, except for Sundays when it's reserved as a foot bath. No talking after lights out, no crying. Everyone's in pain, you're nothing special. This is your bed. I think that's meant for babies. Well, I'm looking at one. Did you bring pyjamas? Oh, they brought me straight from the cricket pitch, so no. No problem. We could just try the lost property box. Colour. Would you like to be operated on for no reason? No. All it takes is one phone call. They'll be fine. Good. I don't want to have to report you to the head of the hospital. He's got no time for nasty little ungrateful brats like you. Sir Quentin Strillers is an extremely busy man. Sir Quentin, you asked to see me about something very urgent. And your name is? Oh, Luppers. And you are a? A doctor. At this hospital? Yes. Splendid. Well, as I'm sure you can appreciate, I'm a very busy man. You asked to see me. Did I? Yes, I was told there are some strange goings on at the hospital. Ah, oh, yes, Luppers. There's some strange goings on, going on at this hospital. Unnatural goings on. Unnatural? Hospital equipment going missing. Poof! Back again. Patients out of their bed at the dead of night. Strange noises from the cellar. Oh, no. Oh, yes. What are you doing tonight? It's my night off, sir. I haven't had one since I started three weeks ago. Splendid. Then you can investigate. Have a delve. Let me know what you find out. Yes, sir. Now, if you'll forgive me... I've got a hospital to run. Of course, sir. You smell like one, too. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter is forbidden! You are here to be ill. Now, it's very late. Gosh, it's almost six o'clock. Lights out, no talking. And if you have a medical emergency, do it quietly. Um, excuse me. Are you talking? I'm, I'm just asking you a question. That is a subset of talking. I was wondering if my parents have been in touch. No. Perhaps they just don't care about you. Maybe they've died. It could be a mixture of both. Sweet dreams. Sorry, Tom. You must be missing them. Yeah. In the boarding school. Just don't see I can still hear talking!
George, shut up. Give me a sweet. No. I I'm starving. Don't tell me you'll spoil everything. Just a little one. I don't mind if it's miles apart. I said no! Who was that? I heard somebody scoffing. Was it you, George? I was as quiet as a mouse. I was as quiet as a mouse. Then what have you got in your fat, greedy gob? Nothing, Matron. You disgusting hog. Speak. <sighs> you were told no chocolates after your operation, but no, you just couldn't help yourself, could you? Where'd you get these from? News agents. But you've been in here the whole time. He's got a delivery service. Roger who? Roger what? These are confiscated. Now uh, back to sleep. All of you! Are you asleep? I'm so sorry. Bit late for that now, isn't it? Finished work. Home now. <laughs> Lucky you. Strillis has me up all night investigating strange goings on. I'm sure, it's nonsense. You're absolutely right. Though, don't let it see you. Oh, I won't. W let what see me? Oh, the folks were blind. There's a ghost haunts the lower ground floor. But you don't want to know about that. No. Well, maybe I want to know a little bit. Story goes that you and your doctor made a fatal mistake in the operating theatre. Patient came back from beyond the grave to eat the hearts and drink the brains of junior doctors. Golly. There's probably nothing. And how do you even drink a brain? Squish it up, I suppose. Good night. Night. George. You planned that all along? Yep. Well, where are you going? Mind your own business, new boy. <laughs> are we safe? Should be. I put a sipping pill in each of the chocolates. 
Except for the purple ones, because they're my favourite. Boy, I'm on fire! <laughs> You've seen nothing other than my genius. be going nowhere. We must be going somewhere. We have to be quiet. We really don't. La, la, la! They do this every night. That cow won't wake for hours. Perhaps you should get some rest. Boring. I never get to do anything fun. Take me with you. Um, I'm just gonna find the others. I have to tell them to come straight back. Liar. I'm not. Ah, oh, and you aren't even a good liar. You think I'll slow you down? No. I might be sick, but I'm not stupid. Can I ask you a question? Why don't we have any hair? I shaved it all off so I could look like a Malteser. Is it because of your illness? It's the treatment. Oh, well, will you get better? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. Take you with me next time. The others never took me either. Go on then, but promise me something. Yes? When you get back, I want you to tell me all about it. Okay. And by the way, there are clean pajamas in the drawer behind your bed. Thanks. Indeed. I'm thirsty for more brain. frozen fish finger packets. It was wonderful. This is so cool. I want to know everything. Uh, if you tell anyone about the Midnight Gang, anyone at all, you'll end up in hospital. I am in hospital. Oh, yeah. Well, seeing as George has given the game away, you might as well know. The Midnight Gang has been making wishes come true in this hospital 
for near on 50 years. It doesn't matter if you want to be an ancient explorer. to be a ballroom dancer. I'll be a racing driver. Friday, it was Robin's turn. I'm very musical. I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but I really can blow my own trumpet. My dream was to conduct an orchestra. Naturally, they all played medical instruments. tomorrow. George wants to fly. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? Come on, George. It's impossible. Well, nothing's impossible for the Midnight Gang, eh? Come on, you lot. Back to your beds. I'm going to get me blow torch and start to defrost. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Porter. That was amazing. Oh, it's my pleasure, young miss. Anything to make you little and happy. This isn't our floor. Oh, we busted. What are you kids doing up so late? <laughs> We're not. You're imagining us. Imagining us. Imagining us. I ain't got no imagination. Out. Oh. Oh. Um, uh, uh, we're top secret dirt inspectors. You what? Yes, we're checking your cleaning the floors properly. You've got an F for filthy. You can't even see nothing. It's all done by smell. When did you last change that water? Last Tuesday. Good for another week yet. <laughs> Are you a bit young to be inspectors? <coughs> Children are best. Because we're closer to the ground, we can see dirt more easily. Goodbye. Somewhere. Sally, go back to sleep. You'll wake Matron. Tom promised he'd tell me about the adventure. Well, uh, I didn't exactly promise. You're a liar. I thought you were different. But you're just as bad as the others. Dr. Oliver, please come to reception. I am afraid no, guys. I am afraid no. <laughs> I thought you were a doctor. Oh, yes, I do. I am. Did you know there have been more goings on, going on in the night? Freezer room, even stranger than before. What are you doing tonight? Oh, you know, sleeping, crying. Yeah, splendid. No plans. Then you can be on patrol again. And, uh, Luppers, the truth is out there. Rise and shine. Morning, Titsy. Ah, hey, 
I see we have a new patient. Hello. I'm Tom. Good morning, Thomas. And what a good morning it is that the Lord has given us. Now, what would you like for breakfast? What have you got? Everything. Everything. <laughs> Everything. Whatever your heart desires. Oh, right. Can I please have waffles with cold vanilla ice cream and two <laughs> jam donuts covered in chocolate and whipped cream? I've got toast or cornflakes. Oh. Cutbacks, I'm afraid, Thomas. I see. But it makes the patients happy to think they can have whatever their hearts desire. But they can't. They can if they desire toast or cornflakes. Toast, please. I'm out of toast. Cornflakes? Yes, okay. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Full fat milk or semi skimmed? Full fat, please. I don't have any milk, so how about a drop of cold tea? Super. Huh. Yes. Mm. Ah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Amber, my darling. For a change, I won't have pancakes with chocolate spread, thanks, Tootsie. What I fancy is cornflakes with cold tea. Coming right up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Sally, I brought you an iced bun from the bakery. Thank you, Tootsie, but I think I can only manage half. I'll save it for later. I'll have it, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, matron. Ouch! Oh, dear. Somebody hasn't had their morning coffee. <laughs> I won't say it twice. You won't have to. Oh. La, 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 la. I know it was you lot causing havoc downstairs last night. I just had a call on the telephone. They found tiny footprints in the freezer room. Oh, really? You are all in big trouble. I am calling Sir Quentin right away. It wasn't them. How do you know? I couldn't sleep a wink last night, but everyone else was asleep the whole time. So it couldn't have been them. Swear it? I swear on my hamster's life. I'll be watching all of you very closely. And I am sending you and your pathetic little bump to the doctor. I'm sure he will discharge you immediately. Your headmaster wants you back at school. On Sally. <laughs> no problem. I'm, I'm sorry you have to swear on your hamster's life. It's okay. I don't have a hamster. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Tom, I have some very good news. Really? You are 100% better. Do you know what this means? I've cured someone! <laughs> Who would have thought? You can go back to school. Wait, something the matter? Just made some really good friends on the ward. Well, two words, pen pals. Or is it one word? Anyway, pop this in for a final temperature check and I will let the matron know that you are good to go. Uh, uh, but wait, but, but we never finished the questionnaire. Oh, yes. Good point. Yeah, hang on. Right. Would you say that the music in the lift was too relaxing, relaxing, too exciting, or made you feel off your nut? I'm ill. But you look fine. Let's see. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is the highest temperature ever recorded in a human being. Am I well enough for school? No! 
No, no, we have to get you straight back to the ward as soon as possible. This is medical history in the making. Porter! <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, Master Tom. See you all later. Tonight, I'm gonna fly like an eagle. <sighs> so, how are you gonna make me fly? My idea is still undergoing refinement. Ha! I knew you didn't know. Time to go for your treatment. Do I have to? You're not here to have fun. This isn't Alton Towers. Come on, come on, come on, hurry up! I know how you could do it. I really don't need any help, but if you insist, you may tell me. But I'm not a member of the Midnight Gang, so I can't. You can have a temporary membership on a junior basis. So this is what we need to do, so we need to get all the girls. Eat quieter, making me hungry. But then she won't hear. You're at it again. That's it. I'm calling the amputation department. Please, don't! These are impounded. Till further notice. Customer. What are you doing here? I had a third degree stippling accident. Oh, they can be very nasty. News agent job is the most dangerous job there is. I've lost many good colleagues to paper cuts. Like what you've done with the place. What do you desire? Chocolates, flowers, get well cards. Pre written cards are very good value. Especially if your name is Auntie Dipta and you want to send a card to a Raj. We need balloons. We want to make this sick boy's dream come true. Well then, <laughs> covered on the right below the panda pops. You are welcome to them. By welcome, do you mean you're not going to charge us for them? Uh, they are being used to let a young boy's dream come true. I want you to have them. You're a good man. <laughs> <laughs> £12.50. <laughs> How are you getting on, Doctor? I found nothing at all. There isn't a ghost. I'm sure you're right. I remember. That's what Dr. Wilson thought. Who's Dr. Wilson? The junior doctor before you. They found him on this very ward with a hole at the side of his head and by his lifeless body, an empty juice bottle and a note. What did it say? Yeah. It said... Thank you for the brain smoothie. Yum, yum. I need to go to the toilet. As a matter of some urgency. 
That's good bit for him. Come. All right, I think we have enough. Oh, my. What beautiful balloons. Are they meant for me? Come on. That's Nelly. She's 99 years old. And she has no family left alive. I've never seen such beautiful balloons in all of my life. Who sent them? Was it Daddy? She thinks she's a little girl. I do hope it was Daddy. I miss him ever so. I know how she feels. Oh. Yes, Nelly. Your daddy wants you to have this. Oh, it's beautiful. Did he say when he would pick me up? Soon. He said he'd come soon. Oh, goody. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Oh. Right, give him over. I'm gonna fly like an ostrich. Ostriches don't fly. This one does. <laughs> Not lifting. We're one balloon short. Oh, it's almost as if someone decided to give one away. There aren't any more. Actually, there is one. Wait here. I suppose you're here to ask for my balloon. How did you know? How else are you going to get George to fly? Thanks, Sally. If I can't go on adventures, at least my balloon can. Here we go. Thank you. Oh, hey! I'm flying! Oh, oh. Oh. Hey! Oh, <laughs> Not yet. We have to be able to get you back to Earth. Someone has to go to the top of the stairs and catch him. It's a lot of stairs. Thanks for volunteering, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, Robin, I'm giving you a look. Some people are born to witness history, some to make it. One of us is about to become the first man to fly. Please, could I swap this one for a red one? Oh! oh the balloons! Oh! Give them back! Oh, she's oh! going too fast! Oh! I'm guessing she might be a tiny bit lighter than George. So, you're going to have to catch Nelly before she flies past! Oh! 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 Let's get after her! See the old girl just shout. Hey, hey, let's go. Yeah! Hold on tight.
I think this is going to look... <laughs> horrendous! If there's one thing I've learned running a hospital for 30 years, other than you can charge what you like for car parking, it's that you don't leave naked patients dangling off statues. How's Nelly doing, sir? Well, she wants to know when she can fly again. Never! She isn't even a member of the Midnight Gang. Uh, midnight what? Nothing. Drugging a member of staff, stealing another patient's property, damaging a valuable asbestos ceiling. Making me clean the hospital. Dilly, it is probably better if the hospital is kept clean. It's all my fault. I was the ringleader. No. I was the ringleader. No, I was. I wasn't. Sir Quentin, it was me. I'm solely to blame. I knew it! Matron! Send these children back to their ward. With pleasure, Sir Quentin. Now, you deceitful little beast! I have everything for breakfast. Toast or cornflake? Cornflakes. <laughs> there you go. One delicious cornflake. <laughs> what is the matter with all you kiddie winkies this morning? They are sitting in a damp puddle of their own guilt. They broke every rule in the hospital. But they seem like such a nice bunch. No, oh, don't be fooled. I even got the porter sacked. But the porter has been here longer than anyone can remember. I heard his mother abandoned him on the hospital steps as a baby. Oh, who can blame her? I mean, who'd want to look at a baby that frightful? The poor, poor man. I must try and find him. He deserves not an ounce of sympathy. He is as ugly on the inside as he is on the outside. Now, off. What you see? you find the porter? Can you tell him I'm so, so sorry? I will try. Well, the Midnight Gang was good while it lasted. It can't end yet. There's still a member who hasn't had their wish come true. You. Although, can it be something really easy? It needs to be very unambitious. Like, have you always dreamt of lying in a hospital bed? Staring at a blank wall? Actually, I'd like to give my wish to someone else. Who? Sally. She wants to be in the Midnight Gang more than anyone. We kept telling her she couldn't. We didn't want to make her more ill. But we should all have one dream come true, shouldn't we? Sally, thank you for giving me your wish, Tom. What is it? We can't wait to find out. The thing is, I don't know if I'll ever get out of this hospital. My dream is to live a big, beautiful life. Oh, Sally. It's a lovely wish. Well, it's hardly unambitious, is it? Did you not hear that bit? So, Faker, guess whose lab tests are back? 
boy, I'm taking you straight back to school, and I hope you get carsick. No, please, just one more night. Can't I say goodbye to my friends? You don't have any friends. When we get back to school, I will personally ensure that your life becomes a waking nightmare. How about I don't come back? Come back here, yes. yes. you wretched little stop! Welcome to my humble abode. Oh, you're back. <laughs> well, I miss my own comfort. Go in there. Boy! Come down there. Boy! Won't get away with this. Where are you, you wretched boy? <laughs> oh, look at all this junk. I've been in tidy riots. That smell. Very familiar. Let's go before I develop a skin disease. You look like the possessions of a homeless man. I shall come back later and put them all in the incinerator. Cruel and callous. A woman after my own heart. <laughs> Do you hate animals too? Nearly as much as children. I can't bear children. Literally or metaphorically? Metaphorically. <laughs> we shall have to see about literally. <laughs> I open all the letters the boys receive. I steal the book tokens and then burn the rest. The local church sends my ward toys for the children. I sell the toys and I spend all the money on shoes. Tom's parents have telephoned the school every single day since his accident. I just put the phone down on them. Would you like to join me this evening? For chocolate cake? Is it stolen cake? Robin's parents sent it to me to share amongst the children. Then it'll taste all the sweeter. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely couple. Must invite them back. Have you always lived down here? When I was a young man, the hospital tried all sorts of operations to make me look presentable. But it didn't really work. Yeah. When I was 16, my time was up. Uh, I had to leave. I didn't like it out there. Sometimes people think, if you've got a stain on your outside, you know, you're stained on the inside. I don't blame them. We're all scared of things we don't understand. But I found a job, a place I could call home. And things looked up. <laughs> it ain't fancy, but it meant I was on hand for the midnight game. Why do you always help them? Is there no reason? <laughs> there must be a reason. Well, I don't know what you're about. Maybe you were the one who started it. Me? Yes. You were a patient here all those years ago, bored and with nothing to do. You're a right little Sherlock Holmes, you, aren't you? <laughs> I, I am right, aren't I? Yes, Tom. You're right. I started the Midnight Gang. Just wanted to make the other kids on the ward happy. And that's what I want for Sally. I said I would make her wish come true, but it's impossible. Hey, 
nothing's impossible for the Midnight Gang. We've just got to work together. Hmm? What? Sorry for making you do all the cleaning. My best J cloth's got a hole in it now. Had it 20 years. But how would you like to do a wonderful thing and help us sneak upstairs to make a dream come true for the bravest child I've ever met? Now, well, what's in it for me? I've got eight sausage rolls, nine scotch eggs, and a packet of pork scratchings. Where'd you get all that? Let's just say I get a lot of bequests. I'd be dead man's snacks. <sighs> Fine. Look away, Tom. Look away. Uh oh. Clean us. <laughs> Thank goodness. They unplugged my freezer because the nice lady in bed four needed her life support machine back on. But now the floor is covered in Solero juice. The thing is, we're not real cleaners. Sorry, Raj. Oh, uh, in that case, can I interest you in some ice lollies on very special offer? <laughs> Maybe later. We're on a mission. And 12 melted twisters for the price of 11! Scrumptious cake, matron. Where's well, Sally? She got worse. They took her to the isolation ward. That door won't keep them in for long. Oh, Chocolates to keep you going before help arrives. Oh, chocolates. Oh, oh no, we shouldn't eat these. Why not? They're so very, very tasty. That should see them through till the morning. What are we going to do about Sally? I've let her down so many times. Can't let her down again. So you mustn't give in, hmm? She wants a big, beautiful life. And the Midnight Gang is going to give it to her. Yeah! Took your time. Are you sure you want to do this? It's now or never. Welcome, at last, to the Midnight Gang's presentation of... Your Big, Beautiful Life.
last but not least. <laughs> I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. Mm. Oh, we're done for. Wonderful, wonderful children. Yeah, I'm a duster. <laughs> Pure genius. It was mainly my idea. Do you know what the most moving part was? Oh, uh, me being a horse in the old projector here? No. Seeing this special little patient of ours do something we'd not seen her do before. Smiling. <laughs> Everyone here at the hospital works so hard to help young Susie. It's Sally. You, you sure? Sally. But, but none of us thought to simply make her smile. Sally. It's going to be a really long journey. But I want you to be able to do all those things for real one day. And I promise you, I will never stop trying. Thank you. Sir Quinton. Mm. We couldn't have done any of this without the porter. The kindest person I've ever met, and the man you sacked. Well, I may have been hasty, but I'm sorry. You're not getting your job back. Oh. Oh. I'm promoting you! What? Yes, our very first Doctor of Fun! <laughs> so, thank you. Um, but I hear you live in a basement. We can't have that. Come and live with me, and I will bring you breakfast every morning in bed. Well, that's an offer. I'm sorry if I gave you the willies. Oh, it was you. <laughs> but the brain smoothie thing is true, though, right? Now then, I think it's high time we left young Sally here to get some rest. No, please, can I just have one more night back in the ward with the Midnight Gang? I'm not sure that... No, please, 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 Thank you so much for giving me your wish. You deserve it. What would yours be? Oh, I have two, and one's come true. It was to make some friends. <laughs> you big softy. What was the other one? To see mom and dad. Well? Dreams can come true. The Midnight Gangs taught us that. It's been the most amazing night. I've had the adventure of a lifetime. box and water. So, how's my favorite patient? Better, thanks. Good morning, Sir Quentin. Uh, can I interest you in a sack on some cardboard? <laughs> oh. What's that noise? Can you know noise? How can you not hear it? Let's out! Let's out now! Children! Who <laughs> raced that man? He loiters in there all night. Have him put down. Is this true? I may have to reconsider my reconsideration. I hope this explains. I open all 
the letters the boys receive. I steal the book tokens and then burn the rest. Local church gives my ward toys for the children. I sell the toys and I spend all the money on shoes. I was doing those spoiled children a favor by stealing their presents. My shoes? Well, what happened to my perfectly normal number of shoes? Don't be strangers. <laughs> Tom, Sally had a chat with me yesterday, and I made some calls, and, well, there's some people here to see you. on the menu for this breakfast in bed? Everything. And I mean everything. <laughs> uh, oh, goodness. <laughs> I've come to say goodbye. Bye, new boy. All of us have to move on in the end. I'll have these casts off on Wednesday, and then I'll be out of here, too. I get my stretches out next week. I'll be gone. My bandage is coming off at the end of the month. Then that'll be the last of us. Maybe this is the end of the midnight gang. Never. The gang just needs a new leader. Sally? Me? Yes. You will make sure all the new patients have their wishes come true. I would love to. But... Will you help me? You bet I will. <laughs> Just don't get the Midnight Gang in any more trouble. Of course. Well, maybe a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Gotta grab hold of life with all of my might Like each moment just might be my last Get one chance at life so I'm living it right And I'll risk it all come what may Make it here, make it now I've got so much to live for today Make it here, make it now Make it 